Welcome to the Hyperloop. It's an idea originally proposed in 2013 by the boss of Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk. A network of tubes carrying high-speed passenger pods between cities. Realising perhaps that it was too massive a job for him alone, he made his plans public and invited engineering teams from around the world to conduct their own research and pursue their own Hyperloop solutions. Hyperloop Technologies is one of the teams that's risen to the challenge, and it's led by rocket scientist Brogan Bambrogan. It's obviously still in the very early stages, but if all goes well, the 50 acres of desert on this site are going to see some pretty spectacular testing over the next 12 months. So this is the landscape that we have. Uh, we've done quite a bit of geotechnical engineering work already and to really understand the ground and the caliche, which is a hard rock formation that occurs a lot out here. Uh, and we're going to be starting our civil engineering work uh, just in a matter of weeks. And then we'll be pouring uh, foundations and um, doing how some saddles and stuff How like long that. will the build take? Uh, well, for the propulsion test, uh, just about six weeks. It's a pretty, it's a simplified um, structural system. And what are you going to be propelling? Uh, we're going to, we built a small pod just to carry the, the elements uh, that are required on the vehicle side for the propulsion. So the pod in this case is basically just a small vehicle uh, with a collection of permanent magnets. And because the pod is so lightweight, it's going to accelerate very quickly. So to, to keep the G-loads at a very acceptable level, we either have to uh, go straighter, which sometimes uh, certain right-of-ways or landscape doesn't allow, or go slower. So in a lot of cases, we won't be traveling at the at the maximum speed. It just sounds so radical, so groundbreaking. It's hard to imagine it ever happening.